Guys, what I'm about to talk about here is pretty bad. So if you get triggered easily or you get upset over things like this, I would highly recommend clicking away and not watching this one because it is pretty emotional and quite sad. Last night I got bad. I don't know how to describe it to you guys, but basically I got to the point where I was more than prepared to kill myself. I had gotten to the point that I had a sash from my dressing gown tied around my neck. Uh, that's a bit irritable today because of that, which is why I'm talking quite quietly. <coughs> and I was pulling it tight to try and, I don't know, choke myself or just try and get myself out of that feeling. Um, but I always promised I would be open and honest with you guys, and I'm being open and honest now. I was in trouble last night. In regards to what triggered it, it was the doctor. I had to go to the doctor last week in, and he basically was trying to force me off once, um, telling me that I needed to go to an occupational therapist because I'm sure there was some job I'd be able to do. Because, as I've said countless times to you guys, if they cannot... Sorry. I feel really bad, you know. I, I scared my sister, I scared my father. He broke down crying. But, as I'm, what I'm trying to say is, if people cannot feel or touch something, and this is, this is doctors in general, right? If they cannot feel or understand why you're a certain way, they don't care. They don't care at all. They're just like, oh well, I can't see it, so therefore it's not real, and therefore you need to get off ones. And I was also then told that maybe I wasn't as sick as I thought I was. Maybe I was weller. Um, even though that's not a exactly good grammar, but I won't banter on about that. So, it just, it all got on top of me last night. This is part of the reason I could really use a friend, you know. Human or otherwise that would be willing to come up and and see me and talk to me and hang out and have cuddles. <laughs> That's why I want a cat, because I know that that'll help. Um, it's also the reason I haven't been vlogging. I don't really see the point in vlogging because I haven't really had much to do. I'll sit forward a bit because my back's killing me. Um, you know, I haven't really had a lot to do. I haven't had a lot to... to say. You know, it's the same thing every day. It's get up, do some artwork, had some to do for clients, which was great, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I haven't got paid yet, but that's coming, so that's great. Um, and just try and wait for Dad to get home have something to eat, watch YouTube videos, then go to bed. I don't have a PC yet. That's the big thing I need. To even be able to think about starting YouTube full time and doing gaming like I want to and more art stuff for you all. And the frustration last night just boiled over to the point that I couldn't take it. Because I just couldn't understand how other people who have been through horrible things, right? The quote, you know, Jar Jar Binks, little things, you know. They get to be heroes. And I've been made to feel like the villain every day of my life. But I'm okay. I came out of it. I've got a bad, bad headache, so I shouldn't have shook my bloody head, but I did. Um, and I'm working, guys. I am working my ass off to get this to work. Because this is my last shot. I cannot get justice for what happened to me any other way than to be able to build a community. I want a family. I want people to be able to have somewhere to come to talk about this stuff and not be ashamed of not having a good day. Because I don't have good days. Last night was a prime example of that. I mean, for goodness sake, if some girl gets to the point where she's going, eh, 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 you know, not, not the best idea. And I'm sorry I'm making a joke out of it, but I have to. It's the same with when I make a joke about having severe abandonment issues. Um, one of the things I'd love to do if I meet Markiplier, and I will do a video on why it's very important that I would like to meet him. Because um, that 
guy did save my life and so did Sean on two separate occasions. And then they continued to save my life repeatedly. Last night they even helped, for goodness sake, and I don't even know them. Well, not really. But there is this song in Shrek that, um, Shrek the musical that Donkey sings called Don't Let Me Go. And I just thought to myself, how funny would it be if I asked Markiplier when he comes here to New Zealand and if we got the chance to meet, hey, can I chase you around like Donkey and sing this song to you? Because I reckon that'd be really funny and people would totally not be horrified by the fact that I'm doing that. But I'm rambling, so I'm just gonna say this. I'm okay. I'm feeling okay. I'm gonna get a cat, because my dad's working on it, because I think now he understands the extent of that loneliness and that frustration. And I'm gonna keep on educating, and I'm gonna keep on going, because I have to. <laughs> and I'm... I'm actually feeling a lot better after that release, so... If you guys are worried about me, leave a comment below. I'll answer, I'll, I'll be completely honest, I'll tell you how I'm doing, but I'm okay. And I'm gonna be okay. This was just a setback. <laughs> it was, for fuck's sake, will you please listen, you know, kind of thing. And just everything got on top of me. But I'm back. I'm good. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight again, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out there and kick some ass. Don't worry. Single Rise is not going anywhere. <laughs> no, yeah, honestly, it was like... Look, Mordenay, that the best you can do? Fuck off, you know. I'm, I'm coming back. I'm gonna keep fighting, so... Thank you guys for watching this. I've babbled on for seven minutes now. I love you all so much and ka titiano. Ka titiano. I'm okay, I promise. Love you. Ka titiano.